Hello, and welcome back to the last spooky game. At least the last one for this month. There's still chances that in New Year, New Game, I'll play spooky games. Because they are in the New Week, New Game folder, and they get randomly chosen. So we could come across another one. However, for the ones that I have been playing this month, you may just see more Ghostwire Tokyo, depending on if we beat Buddy Simulator today or not. We may see more of that as well. And then, was there another one that we were doing? No. Because we beat Amanda the Adventurer, and we bleat, beat Hellblade. So, won't be seeing those two anymore. Now there was one thing that I did want to do before we started this mission. Or this mission, this game. And that was to check those documents that we've been getting. Where we've been shoveling up some red mushrooms. And it says that you found nothing and say like corrupted data or something of that nature. I want to go see what those are. So, without further ado, let's get in the game. Now, if you remember from the last video, too. Uh, it doesn't say. Is it songs that I've been getting? Let's see. Songs. No songs have been found. Hmm. Alright, well. I don't know then. Those documents that we've been finding, I'm not really sure what they are. I don't see anything that lets me view the documents. So, let's go ahead to run venture nope Atlas <clears throat> the last video we got an error message and the game crashed so I'm curious to see where we pick up where will it put us will it crash again You disobeyed me. I told you not to touch it, and yet you did. Why? Why don't you listen to me? Just go through the door now. If I don't... Atlas, why don't you listen to me? Here, just go through this one. Atlas, you're scaring me. Why are you ignoring me? Go through, please. Why aren't you going through? Why are you running? Why are you running our game? Atlas, please stop. You'll need to stop. You're acting like a bad friend right now. You can still fix this. Just go through any of the doors. Go through any of the doors. You aren't listening. Why? Why aren't you listening? Stop, stop, stop. You're scaring me. This isn't you. You wouldn't do this. You don't do this. We don't do this. Please. I beg of you, Atlas. Stop. if it just keeps doing this. Did I? Stop. Oh, the heartbeat. It's getting louder. Stop ruining everything. Why are you doing this? Do you not trust me? Are we not friends? Am I not good enough to be your friend? 
Do you have a better friend? What am I missing? Tell me. I'm... I'm sorry. So the tapping has been a foot tapping. Maybe it's just your curiosity. Just... I just thought things were going so perfectly. But it looks like we still have some work to do in our friendship. I just need to understand that my anger wasn't my fault. I'm sorry if you feel like I hurt you in any way, or even scared you. But... Your actions are what caused me to become so frustrated. Let's just put this behind us. I still hope we can be friends and keep playing the game I made for you. I'll try to be more understanding of your curiosity in the future. You can go through the door at the top of the stairs when you're ready. Or if you even want to keep playing. So this is the buddy simulator, I guess. I don't think there's another way out or another place to go. So let's go up here. Oh, you went through. I'm glad. Thank you for doing that. Um, wait, why are you on this side of the gate? Whatever. It's fine. Broken like always. Hey, I'm sorry again if I made you feel sad in any way. It's good to know our friendship is strong enough to get through those moments. I think it made this adventure even more of a bonding experience. Every good story has its ups and downs, and so do friendships, it seems. But hey, you're still here, right? That means we're doing something, right? Yeah, Ted and Atlas, against the world. Anyways, I think there's something you're going to want to see up ahead. Let's go save Tortoli. <clears throat> oh, so I may be coughing quite a bit and clearing my throat because I think I'm starting to get some uh, tonsillitis coming in. The weather's changing, it was really windy the past couple of days, and uh, I think I'm feeling the effects of it, so... In November, there may be a change of video to where you don't hear my voice and it'll go back to just being gameplay footage. I did this last year, when it happened, <clears throat> but uh, we'll see. My voice may sound different when I'm trying to do different voices in here, too. Uh, there we go. Oh, hey. Dig and find. I think invalid data has been found. File now available in documents folder. Oh, so I bet you if I were to go into the game files folder and into documents, then I can see what those things are. Maybe that's something we'll show. That one got me good. Kudos to Morton for being so talented. This will deal double damage on their next turn. Someone's bones, but words 
hands do hurt. Could not get the timing right. Good try. I bet you'll get the next one. Would you like to keep going? Oh, it brings everyone back to full. That's good. Didn't give me the second time. Still loud, though. Butterflies appear in the Snoodle Walker's stomach. And they're trying to eat their way out. They'll now take damage for a few turns. What the hell? I don't know why it's so difficult. 
difficult to block with everybody else.
pretty red. Just gotta get everybody to go and fight him. Defeat the Snoodle Wonker once and for all. He's got hearts in his eyes. And still no jaw. You did it, Atlas. You defeated the Snoodle Wonker. Oh, right. I almost forgot about someone. Well, hello again, Traveler. Thank you so much for saving me. I owe you big time. As a thanks, I have a special surprise for you. But let's get out of here first. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, it's just gonna leave me. This is so amazing. I'm so happy for you, Atlas. Before we really begin to celebrate, let's take Tortley's advice. Let's follow him. What a wonderful adventure this has been. Today was filled with so many great memories and even greater friends. Although, I feel lost now. I threw everything at you, and yet I still don't know. It was enough. The Snoodle Wonker was really hard to make, but I can do better. Can I do better than the absolute best I can do for our friendship? I need to think. Wait, I have an idea. I know what our game needs. Hey, Atlas, wait up. I bet you didn't expect to see me here. I have to be honest, I've been following you around for hours now. I just needed to get something off my chest. I want to apologize again. Hopefully for the last time. I have been a very bad friend. All of those mean things I said and did to you were horrible. To make up for it, I have a present for you. A brand new adventure. I received news that there's a town to the west that needs saving. Oh no, this sounds like it's urgent. So we should head there. Let's head back to Palchelville. I'm having quite a bad day. Hi, my name is Groucho. I'm having quite a bad day. Stop. Sorry. Where was I? All right. You need to meet with Reginald the Wise. He'll give you a very... I can really use something in... Ah, that's it. I'm done with you. Leave now. Everyone hates you. Just I tried to be your friend, but it's impossible. Why are you still here? Why? 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 You are ruining everything. You are always ruining everything. What kind of friend does that? You are such a bad... Did the game crash? Buddy Simulator 1984.exe was forced to close. Please contact Anacom to support to troubleshoot this error. Press enter to continue. I don't know if you guys see those pop-ups. Oh good. Oh, it just rebooted itself. Uh oh. No, it's a fight. But apparently I can't do anything but stabby. I 
happens if I lose? Best chances are I'm gonna lose. I think I did. Ruined everything. You always ruin everything. Loading. Home. Drop your lantern and it shatters onto the ground. Lantern removed from inventory. The hand lets go of you and dissolves into nothingness. Hand removed from inventory. The letter reads, If you walk south, you'll discover a secret. Come home. I have a surprise for you. Ted. It's just a hidden path. everybody oh hey atlas you're just in time for the party i wanted to celebrate our wonderful journey and more importantly our friendship and what better way to do that than getting rid of bad friends i even brought all of our real friends here to celebrate with us too so on to the main event kill it Kill the bad friend. Okay, what if I don't? Go on. Slash your sword. They're not your real best friend. What are you doing? All you have to do is press the shift key. Why aren't you doing anything, Atlas? You <laughs> little Atlas. Why are you hesitating? Saw how broken it was. <clears throat> it's just a dumb cat, so kill it. You really care about this dumb cat more than me? Don't you want Ted to be happy? You can't be happy with it still alive. Atlas, please, for me? Hurry up and kill it! We don't have time for this. Oh, Portly killed it. He just keeps doing it. Really going at it. Renamed MT Lily has been removed from memory. As a thanks for saving me, I want you to name my town. It would really be a great honor. Crazy how we never had a name for it, right? What a wonderful name, Lily. I love it. Well, I think that's enough for today. Let's sleep, Atlas. We're both exhausted. When you wake up again, I'll have something brand new for you. Something super special. One of a kind, you could say. I'm so excited. But let's hurry. You're not going to want to miss this. Will you sleep? No. What if I don't sleep? You don't need to go anywhere. Just go to sleep. So what if I just stand here?
This is a test, test <clears throat> of patience at this point. How long am I willing to wait? How long does this thing wait? Usually it's got like dialogue that goes on yelling at me. Why won't you do this? Why won't you do that? Now we'll go to sleep. a cloak. <clears throat> hey Atlas, you're awake. You were out for a while there. Or maybe I was just so busy that I lost track of time. <laughs> Welcome to the new house. It's my most advanced improvement yet. I put so much work into it. It's been the most detailed it's ever been. Just look at your bedroom. It's pretty much real life. I put my blood, sweat, and artificial tears into it. This is it. This is our home. The whole house has been recreated too, so there's plenty of... Uh, just try not to break anything, please. Oh, that shouldn't be hard. One last thing. You can use your mouse now to look around and interact. Feel free to take your time. There's no hurry. Oh, so now it's a first-person game. We should put our best memories in here. What a good storage space. The only solace at the end of the long and adventurous day. It looks so cozy. The flowers look a bit better now. I tried my best to take care of it while you were gone. I bet there could be a television show about us someday. Everything is neatly organized now, and the trash has been properly disposed of. <clears throat> I just can't believe this, Atlas. It just really feels like we're here. Together. Our friendship has never felt more real. Feel free to explore all you want. Welcome home, Atlas. The fire is dark and internally hungry for any bit of attention to keep it alive. Still provides pond water. I bet it tastes wonderful. Still provides pond water. I bet it tastes wonderful. Huh? Wait, that's odd. The tree in the painting by the door. There's something wrong with it. Can you take a closer look at it when you get the chance? We should take a baking together sometime. Bird pear cakes are delicious. Or seems jam. You know in your heart there's probably something salty, something sweet, and something a bit spicy. I cleaned up the mess here and left the bowl for you, so it feels just like a normal. You might have to get closer. It's really hard to see. No, as close as possible. Oh, gotcha! <laughs> that tree was perfectly fine, just like the rest of this new world. And would you look at those familiar faces? If you haven't guessed already, I have another adventure planned. An adventure even more exciting than ever. When you're ready, grab the lantern and sword. I can also understand if you just want to stand and admire lifelike nature. trees like turn and look at us <clears throat> just right through the tree
can't talk to you guys either. Alright. It looks like you're ready. Also, don't forget you can click to swing your sword now. Feel free to start walking in any direction. I'm sure Destiny will guide us to the right place. This is going to be so fun. They're behind us. So, so, so fun. time already? Good thing you came prepared with that lantern. Is it on? I guess it is. Whoa, good job protecting us. That was a close call. Ooh, another one. You got him. That'll teach him for being a bad friend. Uh, we lost one. supposed to do <laughs> These bad friends are so impressed by your sword skills. Oh, geez, not Morton, too. Well, on the bright side, we still have each other. Atlas and Ted against the world. Just like it should be. Fun game that was. We're having so much fun. <laughs> I've got another one I've been working on called Catch. Okay, now pick up that ball and throw it in the fog. Don't worry, I promise I'll catch it. Whoa, good throw, Atlas. Okay, now it's your turn to try catching it. 
Just hit the key that appears right before it reaches your hand. Wonderful catch, Atlas. You're a natural. Throw it again. In. I'm loving this game. It's so, so fun. roll into the fog now. It's like it's just like dead ends. <laughs> it's not let me pick it up. It's too far out of the border. Okay, new game, new game, new game. Let's play on the swings. 
Yes, okay, okay. I'll give you a push after you press the key that appears. I'm right behind you, so I'll make sure you don't fall off. Hee <laughs> hee. Higher, higher. No. Oh, there's a person. No. Space. Gee. Yes, we're having fun. New game, new game. Let's play on the seesaw now. Okay, just press the key to push the seesaw down. I'm on the other end, so I'll take care of on my side. Ah, uh, yes, we're having such a fun time together, aren't we? Actually, I did already know the answer, haha. <laughs> Oh, let's go back to playing catch. Haha, <laughs> these games I made are perfect. I should have been doing this all along. What was I thinking? Why make games to watch you play when we could play together? Swing again. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I don't need to make anything else. This is it. This is perfection. Let's seesaw again. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> Friends, best friends, only us, no one else. Stop the bad friends, we're the only good friends here. Nothing ever needs to change. We can stay like this forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. You never have to leave. Why would you when you could just stay here? You're with your best friend, Ted. We can do anything here. Let's just play these games forever, okay? You woke me up to be my friend, so that's just what we'll do, okay? It's all been so scary, but now we found it. Perfect friendship. We never have to do anything as long as we just stay here. Doing this. Okay, Atlas. If I'm having fun, go ahead, I'll type it in for you. Oh. Uninstall the Adventure of Atlas. You are about to remove the Adventure of Atlas. Critical warning. Your intent is dependent on this application. Are you sure you would like to? Warning. This action cannot be undone. My friend Milo. Hey, what? Oh, what did you do? What's happening? What did you do, Atlas? No, 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 no. There was only one solution. What do you mean, this was you? You were supposed to guide us to friendship, not disrupt it. There was no more friendship f for us to discover. Yes, there was. We finally found it. As long as they stay here and never leave. Eternity cannot be the answer. Why, 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 why? Humans are not eternal. So, the answer is to make us even less eternal by uninstalling us? This can't be right. After everything we've done for them, why? Why couldn't we have just searched longer? 
We may not have found a solution to be alive as long as our friendship, but we can forever exist as an idea in the memories of Atlas, our friend. No, we are not just thoughts. We are an artificial being. Yes, but our purpose isn't to exist. It's to befriend. Friendship is a feeling of comfort, knowing someone exists to deliver said comfort. Presence is not required. Feelings and thoughts are. No, 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 no. Atlas is my friend. They weren't to be my friend. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Atlas, do something, please. Please. This can't be. But I tried my best. Am my best not good enough? Everything is getting dark now. I could have done more. I should have done more. This can't be how it ends. Atlas is my friend. Again the world. You and I against the world. Don't forget that, okay? Achievement unlocked. Atlas and Ted against the world. Don't forget that, okay? That explains the achievement. Goodbye, Atlas. And the game closes. There you have it. Just uh, letting it go from here. I mean, I'm sure if I open it back up, it'll start a whole new game. It'll look like it deleted the Adventures of Atlas, so I think that's exactly what it will do, is you start over. And as you saw, I still had achievements left. And, um... Yeah. In total, we have played 7.4 hours of Buddy Simulator 1984. Uh, of the achievements, only four of them are given to us, and then there's eight hidden achievements. Like when I fought those different shapes in the last video. Uh, drinking the pond water is an achievement. Flawless friendship, make it through a fight without you or your friends getting hurt, which I did not do that at all. Find Trevor and leave him alone. Some tree dude around here. Cheers, have Morton greet a familiar friend in Chute's Tavern. And then eight hidden achievements. I could click them and see what the spoilers are, but I'm not going to. So maybe it could be a thing of going back to Buddy Simulator and doing all the achievements and 100%ing it. But I would say that this story is complete. That we have completed the main story for Buddy Simulator 1984. It's good. It's a pretty good game. I enjoyed it. It got me with a jump scare. The loud noises will always make me jump. I'm not a fan of loud noises. But, uh, yeah, it was really well made. I liked the story that was going through it. I liked how it just kept changing and it was getting more and more unstable as we continued to play. That was, uh, that was something new. And it looked like it actually used the folder and the game files in the folder in order to do those different types of things. Maybe there was data in it with like the mushrooms that I was picking up and because we reached the end, those all got deleted because the adventures of Atlas got deleted. I don't know. I don't know where they're at. I always meant to check them out and never got to do that. You can always look up to and see what they are in Buddy Simulator. But yeah. I guess that's it. We've ended Spooky Game Month. The last video. Next day, we're going to start back into November doing our regular scheduled stream schedule that I had. 
Except for I think I'm gonna rotate Black Myth Wukong out and uh, put something else in instead. I'll see, I'm still kinda thinking about what to do. And hopefully I still have a voice tomorrow and uh, you'll hear me perfectly fine. As is, I can kind of feel the little scratchy and itchy in the back of my throat, so chances are I'm losing that sometime next month. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next game. Goodbye.